Now that we have a car, named Car, <laughs> I forgot to rename it, oh well. We go new model, we pick that. It'll be front wheel drive, top speed, we'll give it, oh we need to choose an engine first apparently. So what can we pick? Hmm, what's a cheap engine in line for, that's, this even anything? I don't know where my the engine I actually designed went. So, and what this is, if the en if an engine is highlighted in red, it doesn't fit. If it's white, it fits. So we can only stick 125 horsepower into this thing, roughly. In fact, uh, where's the eco engine? That's the eco engine. So we'll choose this engine. Because I don't know where the engine actually designed is. This is actually even smaller. But we'll choose this engine because it got 31.25% efficiency. Put that in there. We're slightly over the cooling. We're 5 miles an hour. No, we're not. Not with this engine. Manual gearbox. Just a standard clutch with 5 gears. Estimated top speed 65 miles an hour. <laughs> what a freaking pile of crap. Uh, the gear's not that bad. So, 80. Yeah, don't expect this thing to do much. Spacing, no. Uh, where's the effective... I need 5th gear to be in 60. But it isn't. 5th gear doesn't even have a right to exist in this car. I'll put it like that, because 5th gear, there's no point for 5th gear existing. Unless you do that. And that's just sad. Let's put it 4 speed. This is a crap car. It's cheap. Whatever. Um, standard open differential. Tires. This thing doesn't need big tires. Yep, test. Oh my god. It does hit 62 miles an hour! <laughs> uh, it is top speed is 80.2 miles an hour. That's reasonable. Unless you're driving in New Jersey, Texas, Georgia, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and so on and so forth. If you're driving in northern New York, you're not doing 65, more than 65 miles an hour anyway. I'm amazed it actually takes 10 seconds to get up there. That uh, I was expecting worse. And you get stats on the acceleration. It does peel out in first gear. Hooray for this car. <laughs> the power curve is this. You can see where there's uh, shifting involved. First gear, second gear, third, and the fourth. The weight transfer, you can see where the weight weight is, and the weight is staying, I think, towards the front. <clears throat> oh my god, this is a crap car. <laughs> I could put bigger tires on it. So we'll put size that size tire on there. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Put the big tires on it. It went slightly faster, but the time has un remained unchanged. Because it's, well, it's not a very big, powerful engine. I'll we'll put the 16 back on there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, so this is really early. Oh, I can't even change the... Okay, fine. I can't change where the cursor is on there. This is not even in beta, this is not even a very early game. This is something that's coming soon. And we'll have some fun with this. Okay, and just to show you a good car. We get over to there. Rims and tires. This is a sports car thing that I made. The back end is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But hey, the front end looks halfway decent. Maybe. Perhaps. Nyeh. I just kind of threw a car together. But now we can test the difference between like these really crappy tires and these really good tires that don't fit the car. So, testing. 
And now, unlike this, the last time, you can tell this car goes a lot faster, 0 to 62 miles an hour in 4 seconds, with bad tires. <laughs> and it gets to 124 miles per hour in 10.6 seconds, with a top speed of 197. And you can see the top speed graph there, and how fast it's going. The acceleration graph shows that we just have wheel slip. <laughs> bad wheel slip. The power... You barely notice this gear shift. It's a six-speed. Weight transfer kind of goes all uh, poor, uh, more towards the rear during acceleration, minus when it's not accelerating. And you can see what this blue line is, is your potential acceleration, but you're losing excel out on acceleration because of your tires. The red is because there's no, you just don't have the engine power. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here. Switch to those, which don't fit the car. Holy crap, that is ugly. Back to testing. And now, it was already so good that you can't really tell the difference. But, 1.9 1. <laughs> to 37 miles an hour. 3.2 to 62. Less than 10 seconds to 124 miles an hour. And a quarter mile is done in 11 seconds at 131 miles an hour. <laughs> you see the power that's coming out. We have a little bit less than 400 horsepower coming out of this engine. I wanted to put my, five, my 1,000 horsepower engines in here, but it don't fit. It doesn't fit. Won't fit in the engine compartment. And you see the front of the weight gets loaded way to the back real quick. So, let's see if we can go back to the drivetrain change the spacing a little bit what happens then I don't really see much of a difference we're starting to get power issues down there let's take this and change the spacing back in this direction testing that made it worse it changed it increased the top speed No, it didn't. That just makes it worse. Makes it a lot worse. Stick it up there. You see the different timings and everything involved with the different gear ratios. This has the best performance. I think that'd be an issue. Doing some of that stuff. What happens if I do this? That doesn't help any. Put it back to six gear. Increase the top speed. Will we get extra speed out? Nope. We're at 196 miles an hour, and that's it. That's where it's going to be. We're not going any faster than 196. Put it to 198. We're back to 196. So that's as fast as we're going to go. 196 miles an hour, which isn't half bad. It is not half bad. If we change the gear ratios, we actually get slightly better acceleration, don't we? Hmm. You don't quite get the feedback in this that you do in the uh, engine design area. Not yet, at least. But we're going to kick the tires down to something that fits the car. Those fit better. And you're not really losing much in the way of performance. And the top speed increased to 197 miles an hour. Ding! So yeah, this is the automation game so far, which will be a full si uh, full blown out car manufacturing simulation with dealerships and everything when it's all done. And it's a tycoon game. I like tycoon games. We haven't had a tycoon game in a very long time that was any bloody good, I should say. We've had tycoon games that were terrible. And we need more of them that are actually good, not terrible. Uh, the last good one I played was Railroad Tycoon. Now, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I think, came out after, but I'm not really going to say that was particularly good. Ro ro uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was better. But yeah, so it's fun. Has a heck of a lot of potential. I like what they're doing. We do need more features for this, though, because that is... 
It's the doy back. It, it looks stupid. <laughs> Front end looks okay, even though I just tried to cram radiators and everything on there, hoping to put a 1,000 horsepower engine in there, because this thing only cools to 515, so, oh well. Ah, darn, it doesn't fit. Oh well. Looking forward to this thing being finished and coming out. Why did it not save my bad craptastic car? Don't know, but it didn't. Have fun, everybody. See you all later. Oh, yeah. Web page is in the description of all the videos for this as well. Don't forget to check out the web page. See you all later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.